About seven miles south of Oaxaca is San Bartolo Coyotepec. This is the community where Barro Negro originated and is still handcrafted today. To create a traditional piece, they need to do that shape and punch in the middle. And that's the first shape. As the process begins with the extraction of the clay, mm -hmm. and handcrafters visit one mine in this town, located four miles from here, and only handcrafters are allowed to extract the clay. And it's free for them. Oh, it's wow. Free. It's free. So, so, who goes and gets it for them? Lorenzo goes. Wow. He has a truck and he brings here. Wow. He took a part of that clay, dries in the sun at least for three days, mm -hmm. and then goes in water containers. So the clay dissolves there. Mm. When the water evaporates, the result is like a raw paste. Mm. he adds the clay, he knows the volume, the size, everything by hand and touch. This is only clay, but they use a natural oil called, from a plant called Grilla. With that oil, the clay turns gray. And with the stone, you will have the brine. is the oldest known method for the firing of pottery. The pots are placed in the pit underground and then covered with a large piece of metal. The ash and minerals inside is what gives the bottle negro its color.
Rosa is the originator of the technique that makes Barro Negro black and shiny. In the 1950s, she discovered if she polished each piece with a quartz stone first, then fired it at a lower temperature, the pieces emerged shiny versus dull and gray. took home several pieces from the shop ran by Lorenzo Mateo Ortiz and his wife, including two mugs, a vase with a lid, two skulls, and we also picked out a third mug at the Dona Rosa shop. We couldn't believe how low the prices were considering the amount of time that goes into each piece. Our Wilson's tip is to pack a couple sheets of bubble wrap if you plan on stopping here.